So this is the 2015 Junior Served Ordinary Level Paper 1 and we're looking at question number 12, the last question on the paper. Martin creates a pattern of numbers using the instructions in the table below. The first number is filled in. Part A says complete the table. So we can see the instructions down here on the left. And the first number is 5. That's our starting number. The next instruction says multiply by 3. So we have 5 by 3. And 5 by 3 is 15. So then it says subtract 5 from your answer. So 15 subtract 5. That leaves us 10, which is our outcome or our answer. So if we're filling in the table, we're just going to follow the instructions. So if I start with number 6 and multiply that by 3, 6 by 3, well that gives me 18. And then I'm going to have to subtract 5 from 18, which leaves me with 13. So now I'm going to do it for 7. 7 multiplied by 3. So that gives me 21. And subtract 5 from 21. And that leaves me with 16. So part B says Martin picks a starting number and using the instructions gets an outcome of 1. Find the starting number he picked. So this time we know the outcome. So we know the outcome is 1, we need to get back up here to the starting number. So we're going to do the reverse operation. So if we're working backwards, instead of from the outcome, we're going to add 5 to the outcome instead of subtract 5. So 1 plus the 5 will give me 6. And then instead of multiplying by 3, we're going to divide by 3. So 1, add 5, gave me 6. And then 6, the reverse of, of multiply by 3 is to divide by 3. 6 divided by 3 gives me 2. So that's my starting number is 2. And finally, part C says, when the starting number is k, what is the outcome? Give your answer in terms of k. Okay, so let's have a look here. Imagine our starting number was k. We could work our way down. So k multiplied by 3, well, that gives us 3k. Subtract 5 from your answer. And that will give me 3k. Subtract 5. So that's our answer in terms of k. 3k subtract 5 will be the outcome or the answer. And that's the end of this question.